Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my Splatoon multiplayer tips videos. You can find all of my previous tips in the video description below. Today I'll be sharing some tower control tips that players in all ranks may find helpful. Yes, I've seen players in S and S Plus make these same mistakes too, so let's get started. Number 1. If you have a short range weapon like a carbon roller, ink brush, arrow spray, lunar blaster neo, pretty much any weapon that has a terrible range, you should not be the one who is standing on the tower. Why? Your opponents with a mid-range or long-range weapon can easily pick you off, and, and what are you going to do about it? Try to flick your brush or shoot at them from the tower? You're not going to reach them if they keep their distance away from you. If you have a short-range weapon, you should instead flank your opponents and prevent them from getting anywhere near whoever is on the tower. On that note, if you have a mid or long range weapon like a charger, heavy splatling, or just a regular splatter shot, you're the one who should be on the tower because you can easily pick off the opposing team before they can even come close to you in the tower. Am I saying players with short range weapons should never go on the tower? No. If there is an opening for your team to push and nobody's on the tower, get on it. Get on the tower. Or if you have a special that's ready like a bubbler or kraken that will get the tower through a choke point or give you the lead, then get on it. Number 2. On Camp Triggerfish, when your team is pushing the tower, you need to make sure your team attacks from all sides. Now take a look at this clip. Two of my teammates are attacking down the middle path while my third teammate is on the tower. That means no one. No one is checking the left path, the left side of the map. An enemy could be hiding there waiting to ambush the tower. So what do I do? I immediately go over to the left side and guess who I found there. Now the tower can move on happily towards the goal. Number 3. When your team is pushing the tower towards the goal, always check the rear side of the tower. Make sure people are not trying to flank you from behind. Number 4. There should be no more than one person on the tower at any time. Why? Because an enemy can shoot at the tower and kill everyone that's on it at once. Let's look at this clip. Notice how my teammates and I leave one person behind on the tower. We are trying to mitigate potential casualties. We're trying not to all group up and die at once. But you might be saying, Sam, the more people that are on the tower, the faster the tower will move. And to that, I say it doesn't matter. As long as you and your team flanks the enemy and keeps them busy, the one person on the tower will continue to move the tower forward. Anyway, that's it for now, but don't worry, I have more tips for you boys and girls soon. And as always, this is a team game, so it doesn't really help if you're the only one who are following these tips, right? If all of your teammates are doing the wrong things, then your team pretty much lost. So share these videos, share the knowledge so everyone can get better. That's the only way our teams are going to win. Anyway, I love you all, bye!